Okay, so now it's recording. Uh, <laughs> thanks, Mark. <laughs> I really like Felicia. <laughs> yeah, Daniel, uh, like I said, I, I'm sometimes not completely savvy with technology. Um, yeah, I just realized that that button was there. <laughs> uh, yeah, they'll get the second half, but at least they'll get part of the contest. You know, they'll get the contest when I do that part. Um, let's see. My favorite statue... Um, I'd have to go with my head crab zombie or, um, the Mystique, uh, Adam Hughes Mystique. I also do have the, um, Metro, uh, Samus in her variety suit from, uh, I think it's First Four Figures. I think First Four Figures did it and it lights up. Um, wait, no, that one doesn't light up, but I have the, uh, the, um, her ship that does light up. It's really awesome. Uh, Mirror's Edge. I've never played that game. Isis can come in. I might show you guys a cat if she comes over here. Hi, Z. Hi. Okay. This, since we're all showing pets, this is Isis. And she's terrified right now. But say hi, Isis. Hello. Wait, there we go. Hold on. There you go. Hi. She's mine. She's my baby. <laughs> no, her name's not. Her name's not Doom. <laughs> Should be. Um, no, she's Isis. Uh, my first cat. Don't have her. She's my baby. Uh, let's see. Dude. Okay. With Luke. All right, Luke. Uh, with Firefly. <sighs> I didn't start watching the show till after it was canceled. Um, yeah, bad. Shame on me. I know. Um, sucks uh, that I I didn't watch it while it was on air. Uh, but I, I love the show. I absolutely love the show. I think it's awesome. Captain Maul freaking kicks ass. Freaking everything that he's in is awesome. Um, you know, I I would love for them to bring it back. Doubtful since they killed off quite a few people. Uh, thank you, Zen Dragon. Yeah, um, thank you. Um, I am a good age, I will say. And that's all I'll say on that. <laughs> Morrigan, um, I've been asked to do Morrigan before. I'm not sure. We'll see. I like Stargate SG-1. I didn't watch it, um, all the way to, I, I didn't watch it. Well, I think once it got into Stargate Atlantis, I stopped, like, right before that. Um, but I, I was watching most of it. Um. <laughs> thanks, Nick. I did not play Pokemon, but I watched the cartoon with my baby sister. And from the beginning, I loved it. Um, I stopped watching it maybe three, maybe four years into it. Um, but I, I never played, I, I, I never played the game. Uh, favorite dish... Oh, that's a good one. Um, I like ethnic food, so I'd have to go with uh, seco de pollo, which is from uh, my mom's country, Ecuador. Um, it's, you know, just, it's a dish that my grandma makes very well, and it's, you know, it's comfort food. Um, aside from that, um, uh, other foods... I really, really love Mexican food. Um, you can never go wrong with cheese enchiladas. Um, is, oh, okay. Prime rib. I'm a big fan of prime rib. Uh, the au jus, horseradish, you know, real strong. Good stuff. Love it. Really, really good. Uh, where was Rancheros? Uh, I had that recently. It was okay. Um, I prefer chorizo and eggs. Uh, hell yeah, prime rib rules. It's like the king of meat. Um, well, I don't know. Um, filet mignon? No, prime rib rules. Uh, let's see. <laughs> I like horseradish a lot. 
Uh, best moment being at Comic Con. Uh, San Diego Comic Con? Uh, best moment is a toss up between um, being at Frank's booth and hanging out with him and walking the floor and uh, people complimenting on the hair braiding of the, the uh, red shirt that I did or the um, having the triple uh, with me. Um, you know, mostly because, like, you knew those those people watched the show, you know. Like, the hair braiding there, it was really, really intricate back, you know, for the original series as well as, I mean, they did, like, a basket weave. It was crazy stuff. Really awesome. Uh, let's see. Kamikaze. Maybe. It, it really depends. I'm hoping their floor plan will be better than it was last year. And if it is, then, yeah, you know, I would definitely consider going back. Isis wants in or out. Uh, I actually, I don't know if she's still in here. I think she's out. <laughs> uh, San Diego, definitely gotta go to that show, you guys. Um, I will be there. Um, I will let you guys know the shows that I'm definitely gonna be at this year, 100%, are um, Amazing Arizona Comic Con, uh, which is in one, two, three weekends. Yeah, three weekends. Uh, which I will be with the Cosplay Calendar Girls, uh, Tony Darling, uh, Leah Rose, Rosanna Ro Rosanna Rocha, um, Katie Bear, uh, Paris Sinclair, among others. Um, so that should be a really, really fun show. I think you guys are going to enjoy the um, stuff that we have there for you. I will have my own booth. So if you guys are in Arizona and, uh, you know, want to go to a con go there I will be there um, I'm not announcing my costumes for that show yet but um, you know uh, it'll be fun it'll be fun I'll have prints I will be doing something different starting with cons this year where there will be an exclusive uh, print or photo to the con or limited I'll say limited um, whatever does not sell out at the con will be available on uh, the store envy page or uh, on store and be store uh, until it's gone and once it's gone that's it um, Nick I actually do not make money from cosplaying um, this is all this is a hobby for me and it's all of my money goes to fabric and all sorts of uh, things to make my costumes so no I, I don't make money I mean I, I not to say that I don't frown upon it I think it's totally cool if you get paid to do something that you love, um, you know, and I do know some cosplayers that do get paid uh, for it and, you know, but they love it. They, they love what they do and because they've had so much exposure by default, they're, you know, they, they'll get invited to a show or they get paid for it. And that's totally fine with me. I think that's awesome, you know. Who wouldn't want to get paid to do something that they love to do, you know. Uh, but no, I, it's all my money. All of the monies comes from my pockets. Uh, WonderCon will be uh, Jessica Rabbit, uh, Wonder Woman, and Mystique. The new Sonic Screwdriver. Um, this one's my favorite, though. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> It does hurt my pockets, but, you know, I just, I, I've gotten really, hell yeah, Abby. We're freaking time lords. <laughs> and Billy, yeah. <laughs> That's too awesome. Oh, uh, Seventh and Panda, I love your hats. <laughs> They're awesome. Oh, you got the TARDIS, TC. You got that one? <laughs> it's bigger on the inside. And I've got that one. <laughs> <laughs> too awesome. Way too awesome. <laughs> uh, let's see. Non Marvel characters. Um I, Oh, Ayani, you in Oh, Ayani! Okay, everybody say hi to Ayani. Everybody, hi, Ayani. We love Ivan we, oh, we love Ayani. 
We love Ayani. Um, Ayani is freaking awesome. Uh, she's been with me since my page was a baby and has helped my page grow like nobody's business and is still supportive of my page. Um, I mean, we, we haven't been, Ayani, I really apologize. We haven't been able to talk a lot and it's mostly because I've been, um, running back and forth and going out of town, but we, we usually talk every day. She's like the most awesome friend, um, anyone could ever have. I love her to death. So, you know, if you guys get a chance, check out her page. It is Liquor Girls and Effing Video Games. Um, yeah, definitely check her page out. Freaking rocks. Um, I love you to pieces too. Jeff, but I can't sign your Frank Cho stuff. That's Frank Cho's art. It's not mine. It's not my art. Terrence, I'm not going to say that word. I, I can't say that word. Okay, here's a story for you guys. Um, I do not say, okay, I don't say the F word. I, it's just my mom drilled that into me as a kid not you know bad word don't ever say that word and um you know I, like uh cursing does not offend me in any way um but i just i can't say that word it's like the bad word for me to say right so i was sitting down watching die hard the other night and I, i'm not sure if you guys remember me posting about that uh but i was repeating a quote from the movie and it had the f word in it and like, I'll cuss in my head. It just won't come out, you know, verbally. <laughs> and uh, when I repeated the quote, I repeated it with the F word and like just flowed from my mouth. Like I've always said that word. And my hands immediately hit my mouth and I was just in shock. And I started crying. It, like I told you, my mom like just drilled this into me as a kid. Don't say that. Um, I started crying and I called my mom, you know, and I'm like, mom, I said this word and she started busting up laughing because she thought I was lame. <laughs> and, uh, she's like, go, you know, um, go wash your mouth out with soap. And I was like, just, she was busting up laughing. I started laughing afterward because I know I'm lame, but, <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> It's okay, Marcos. Um, take care. I have it recording now. Uh, it's been recording for the last uh, 13 minutes. So if any of you guys do have to go, the uh, winners will be announced on it. Maybe the reason why I'm not announcing is because I don't want you guys to leave. Hmm, maybe. Maybe not. We'll see. Replace it with Smurf. <laughs> uh, hold on. Let's see. Tease. Only sometimes. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Dizzy. <laughs> okay, Shervin, I had, you had to put the F word on that meme because it just wouldn't convey the same oomph that it would have otherwise. Uh... Fouché? You guys are terrible. Smurf, smurf, smurf. <laughs> smurf you? <laughs> Yippee ki <-yay>, mother smurfer. <laughs> uh. <laughs> French pronunciation. Wait, did I just say the F word? Oh my god, did I just say the F word? Abby. Oh, okay. <laughs> Like crap, I said it in another language. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, you guys are on the Smurf kick now. It's funny. <laughs> uh, let's see. <laughs> you Smurf instead. I think I could do that. I think you can manage that. Anthony, no. No, 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 no. I'm not saying it. 
By the way, um, if you guys... Okay, Anthony is a really, really great friend of mine. Ooh, hold on. I see a GIF. One sec. I'm looking at it. Holy crap, you guys made a lot of gifts. <laughs> oh, lordy. Okay, I'm back, sorry. Um, oh yeah, so Anthony's awesome. I'm always trolling him, so if you guys see me, it looks like I'm being rude on my page towards him. I'm just trolling him because uh, he's a huge pa PlayStation fan and I keep telling him to get uh, an Xbox 360 so I can kick his ass. And I think, Anthony, you're just afraid that I'm going to own you. So, what do you got to say about that? Okay, Terrence, PC. Um, PC is awesome. Uh, it's actually, uh, I started playing uh, Half-Life on that. Got really addicted. Um, I was a, a big on Steam, uh, Half-Life CS, um, uh, Day of Defeat. Um, I had a lot of fun on those. And uh, my brother actually hacked my account. And um, Steam took it away from me. So I lost all of my games on it. Uh, I didn't know I didn't know any of this until a couple of months ago. So I, I created a new Steam account. Oh, gave the tag on there's Ivy Doom Kitty. If you guys want to look me up and add me, totally fine on Steam. Um, I just can't play anything because I don't have any games, which sucks. Um, hopefully I'll get some on there. Mm, mm -hmm. Okay, let's see. No way. Um, I actually started playing Portal on Xbox. Um, I hadn't played it on uh, on PC, uh, but I'm a huge fan of of Portal. Um, actually, uh, Nicole, if you're still there, hi Anthony. Um, Nicole, if you're still there, um, I want you, if you can, to make me a um, companion cube charm. Um, and I'll message you about that. Um, I really want a companion cube charm. And I want a lambda symbol from Half-Life and a crowbar from Half-Life. And hell yeah, portal shots for the win. That was actually thanks to uh, Ayani from Liquor Girls and Smurfin Video Games. <laughs> uh, she uh, posted the, the um, recipe for that and that stuff was pretty damn good. You guys should try it. Uh, let's see. Yeah, you should finish Portal. You will make all of the things. Yes, you will. I have a huge order. Um, I want a charm bracelet where it has all, um, it was just gaming. Like, all different, um, gaming, uh, logo, symbols, you know, random stuff. Ooh, Portal cake charm. Yes, please. Add that to my order. Uh, let's see. The recipe, um, you can get that from Ayani. Uh, if you go to her page, um, she can, uh, she has it on there. Um, it's really good stuff. You haven't played PS3? Dude, it's, I don't play PS3. And you guys are gonna shoot me. For all of you PS3 players, you guys are gonna murder me for this. But, uh, I only watch Blu-rays on my PS3. Sorry. Um, I know I need to get a game because I want to play with a bunch of you on it. Um, but yeah, Anthony, uh, Burn, by the way, dude. PS3 kicks ass for Blu-rays. If you want a game, get a 360 and we'll talk. <laughs> yeah, I'm trolling him again. Sorry, guys. <laughs> no, I'm definitely going to get a game that's exclusive to PS3 because I want to play with you guys. Uh, Little Big Planet is one I do want to get. Um, Uncharted's another one I want to get. Uh, let's see, 720. <laughs> uh, okay, my uh, all right. I have three or no, I have two uh, 
three sixties. Uh, one's in my bedroom. The other one is in the living room. Uh, I had a third one that I gave to my uh, baby sister, and uh, I think two of them have the no, yeah, two of them had the ring of death. Uh, Xbox was Microsoft was awesome and fixed them. Um, and now I have the, um, the red Xbox 360, which is the Resident Evil LE edition. And I also have the slim, uh, black 360 as well. Um, they're both, they're both awesome. No problems with those two. Uh, I haven't played AC3 yet. Um, I'm still going back through the other AC games and finishing. I, I finished replaying, uh, AC1. And uh, am getting started on AC2, which is my favorite. By the way, guys, got a big thing for Ex Ezio. Um, he, he's amazing. He's awesome. Um, yeah, really nice video game crush. Um, yeah, that's all I'm going to say. Uh, let's see. Armored Core. No, no, no. Assassin's Creed. <laughs> uh, Smash Brothers. I think I played that a, a few times. Um, I didn't play it often, to be quite honest. Um, let's see. So I told you guys about Bake Anime. Um, is anyone going to be there? By any chance? No? No, not Bacon. <laughs> okay, well, if any of you guys are going to be at Bake Anime, I'm going to be there in two weeks. Uh, I told you guys about Amazing Arizona. Uh, Big Wow Comic Fest. Uh, hold on, one sec. Do, do. Okay. Big Wow Comic Fest. There you guys go. See that? Yes. Okay. This show is the show to go to. It's going to be big on cosplay. Um really really great lineup uh frank will be there and um i will be modeling for his art panel and you guys are going to hear it first what costume i am going to be wearing for that show i will be doing his version of red sonia uh for that show so um really excited about that scared about it also uh, but i will be modeling for his art panel um, pretty much he'll, he directs, uh, the whole thing, you know, shows everybody, you know, gives them a few pointers how to draw. Everybody draws me standing, you know, at different, doing different poses. And then, um, uh, he goes around the, the, the room, picks out, uh, different, uh, people's work and goes over it, makes any corrections if needed. And it's really awesome. It's actually a lot of fun. So you guys should really, really go and... Yeah, I'll be my Red Sonia. I'm scared. But it should be fun. We'll see. Uh, where did I get the Half-Life Zombie? Uh, I got it from a Sideshow uh, one or two years ago. Uh, let's see. Dude, that blade kicks ass. Sevens? That's freaking awesome. Uh, Jeff, I think that's pretty cool. Um, I'm totally fine with that. Uh, I'm actually looking forward to the game coming out. I want to try it out. Uh... <laughs> hey, Yanni, I'm going to kick your ass. <laughs> uh, let's see. Oh, yeah, the photo with Stan. <laughs> I love that photo. It's one of my favorites. Uh, sideshow booze. Yeah, dude, seriously. You can blow so much money at Comic-Con. What was it like meeting him? Um, surreal. Um, a huge treat. Um, uh, very difficult not to geek out, but then again, I was, like, just awestruck and 
just shocked that it was actually happening because I never expected that opportunity to come across in my life. And it just, it was awesome. It was awesome. What can I say? It was, it was amazing. And I hope you guys each can meet him someday and, you know, spend some time with him because it, it was awesome. Um, it was a huge smurfing treat, Tyburn. <laughs> uh, nasty will yeah I definitely will um, yeah that's why I'm scared <laughs> um, Mario Pertil uh, I will be doing a shoot with Ani Mia at San Diego this year um, we haven't announced what it's going to be exactly but we are for sure doing a shoot um, Ani are you in here yet I don't think she might be 10, 11, 12. She might not. She's on East Coast time. Uh, Ryan, I haven't posted the 20K contest winners yet. Um, I probably should do that. Um, I, I probably should do that right now, huh? Because some of you want to go to sleep. Uh... Holy crap, Keith. Are you really? Wow. Thank you so much. Um, what's your tag? I need to add another admin on here. Mm -hmm. Yes. Wait one sec. I can't add you as a... Oh. What is this sleep you speak of? Yeah, I don't know what sleep is either. Um, the Walking Dead creator is Robert Kirkman, and to my knowledge, he is not leaving his the the show. Um, it's 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 his it's his project, you know, it's his baby. Wow, guys! Oh, the showrunner. Tonight or tomorrow? Let's find out. Uh, let me check my page. Give me one sec, guys. And let me refresh it. I'm at, let's see. Oh, uh, Ayani's laptop died. We'll miss her. Um, I'm currently at 24981. Um, it is very possible. We'll see. Um, then I'll have to do another contest for you guys, right? Okay, so, if you guys are ready... I'm going to go ahead and uh, pick the winners. And actually, let me go ahead and look at the contest rules because it's been a while since before, since I've checked the rules on there. So let me check real quick. Uh, let's see. Okay, there's going to be five winners that will be winning five posters each. There will also be one additional winner who will receive one of each print that's currently in stock. Um, and for you to be able to uh, enter it, you have to have just answered the question of what does cosplay mean to you? Um, so, this is my helmet. If you guys, yeah, there you go. And I have all of the entries in here. So, We're gonna, yes, drum roll. <laughs> I'm gonna pick the first five that win the five prints each, and then I'm gonna pick the winner that gets one of every single one that's in stock at the very end. So the sixth winner will be the one that gets all of them. So if you guys are ready, start moving these suckers around. There's a ton. And I'm gonna actually, I'm gonna read what you guys wrote on here too. So the first one is, and each one gets five prints of their choice from the store. Um, Jesus, Vargas cause, uh, Jesus Vargas is the first winner. What he said was, cosplay is a sign of tribute and fandom to whatever you love by dressing up into a character you love even if you created the costume or bought it and you enjoy the time and effort of being that character even if you do not know the poses or phrases, even though some judge on looks. Uh, as long as you enjoy your cosplay, you're good, never letting anyone judge you. I experienced my first time when I was 
Sonic and Mega Man, I didn't need all the materials to be them, just have fun with your cosplay. It's another world to explore for everyone, old or new. So, if you're in here, you get five. And you will be, um, I will be announcing the name on Facebook as well. You guys need, uh, need to message me. You'll have until Monday to reply to me and let me know uh, which prints you want that are currently in stock. And I will send them out to you. Uh... Ready? Everyone ready for the second one? No, no, no. There's five. Terrence, there's five that are going to win five prints. And then there's a, uh, a a six that will win one of every single print in the store. <laughs> Sorry, Terrence. Okay, the next winner is... Alexi Anna. Cosplay is about expressing who you are and showing off your own talents. You know what I think is really cool? These things remind me of a uh, freaking, uh, uh, what are those things? What are those things? Um, fortune cookies. Uh, the little fortune cookie sayings. So that's the second one. Talents. Uh, <laughs> the Family Guy ape. <laughs> the odds here are, uh, I think, 120 entered. Put in bed after their cosplay response. Okay, this one's a big one. This one. Uh, Valentine Rodriguez. Reality doesn't matter today. You pull yourself out of the bed. You share with two other congoers, bedraggled and crusty. Mind you guys, I haven't read any of these. Uh, the room is in disarray. You pick through the chaos for the pieces of today's identity. And in 25 minutes, you make magic happen. New hair, new lips, new clothes, new eyes. You're a new person, but still the same. This character, written by strangers in a far-off place, somehow feels like a part of you that has always been there. You were just waiting for the mold to be forged. Wow, this is nice. Whether it's the first or the 31st time the buzz remains, this incredible sense of merriment infects, infects the air around, and you know that everything was worth it. The empty food pantry filled with glue and foamy. The floor riddled with pins waiting to punish your clueless foot. The nights that traded sleep, sleeping for hours of sewing. You would do it all again for this feeling you have now. You made it here. Now it's time to shine. This is cosplay. That was awesome. Congratulations, Valentine. So that's three. We've got three now. Three. Uno, dos, tres. Uh-oh. We've got a gif. We're going to pause for the gif. <laughs> oh, yikes. Um, it's a good thing I am not standing up. Um, so we've got three now. We've got Valentine, we've got Alexi, Anna, and Jesus Vargas. Let's see what else we got. Um, Anthony, it's uh, this funky red. Um, I'll look up what the color is. Um, someone actually asked me about it. Dude, if you gotta eat food, you gotta eat food. Go for it, Seven. Okay, I probably should do this. All right, there we go. You guys can see it. La, la, la. Winner number four. Let's see what we got. Amir Nia. Aside from the obvious costumes in play, to me, cosplay is where beloved fictional characters come to life. It's where art and fantasy meet and become reality. Well, kind of. Superpowers sold separately. <laughs> that one's awesome. So Mirnia, Mirnia is number four. Um, not a small pop tart, but I will take a strawberry one, along with more Hooters wings. Yes, on the Hooters wings. Yes, please. <laughs> All right, let's see what we got. 
do, do. Holy hell. Okay. I'm just grabbing the one that I feel first and... Oh, shnit. Hold on. Okay, I'm going to have to look up the name for this one because it's cut off. Give me a sec, guys. Oh, I can look it up right now because I have it saved on here also. What happened? <laughs> it's like, holy Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, guys. This is a long one. Hold on. Uh, let's see. Just give me a sec. I'm looking it up on my computer. Do, do, do. Uh, talent. Jesus. Kevin. Who do you got here? Okay. This one is from Mark Knuckles Carter. It looks like it was partially cut off. Mark Carter Knuckles. Okay, this one's long, so bear with me. To me, cosplay means so much that I would have to break down each letter to you. Wow, okay. C, learning how to be creative. Being creative has always been my main focus, especially if there is a character that a lot of people use so often. I like to put a twist to it to make it stand out. Oh, open-minded. As far as doing a group cosplay, sometimes majority of my group wants to do a certain anime or video game that I may not know or am familiar with, but if I can take time to research it, then I'm willing to be part of the project. S, showmanship. Showmanship to me plays the biggest role in cosplaying because even if the costume is perfect, you still have to act like the character and well enough to satisfy the fans too. People want to see their favorite characters come to life, so acting out the character in moves and in speech is very important. P. A lot of people that don't understand the concept of cosplaying and think that it's a joke usually asking me, Dude, you're a 24-year-old black guy, why are you doing this? It's because I'm proud of what I do. I have so much pride and confidence in myself that I don't care what people say, even if they bash on my cosplay or just cosplaying in general. It's my hobby and it makes me feel good. Uh, L. To me, cosplaying is my life. It keeps me sane, especially with that, with what the rest of my life consists of, i.e. office work, church volunteering, home responsibilities. Without cosplaying, I feel like I am a lifeless robot. It keeps me busy and away from troubles at all times. A. You gotta have the right attitude. I chose to cosplay because my goal is to make everybody, if not at least one person, smile and be happy. Whether they want a hug or a picture, taken or even talk to you about the anime or video game, or movie your cosplay is based on. Having the right attitude means not being annoyed by your fans or pushing them off as if you don't have time for them. Because if that's the case, then why are you cosplaying? That's a really good point, guys. We chose to draw attention to us, and what better way to draw attention even more than by interacting and being friendly with your fans? Why? You. To those that's reading this and to everyone in the cosplay community, what keeps me cosplaying is every single one of you. The love and encouragement from everyone to keep going and to not give up has definitely pushed me harder in all of my cosplay pro projects. As long as there are, there are fans of cosplay, there will always be cosplayers out there to entertain the fans. Wow. That was a lengthy one, but it was a good one. You got lost after C. Come on, guys. <laughs> okay, so we've got Mark Knuckles Carter. We've got Amirnia. We've got Alexia Anna. Who's going? Paul. Paul? Aw. I'll see you soon next time. I miss you. Jesus Varga, Valentine Rodriguez. Each one of them get five. And now this person that I'm about to pick right now. Here, I'll, I'll do it right here. This person that I'm about to pick right now, I kid you not, will get one of every single print I've got. So again, you guys have until Monday to message me and let me know what you want for the ones that got five. And the rest of you will, you know, we'll be doing some more if you guys are sticking around tonight. Doom cookies. I love cookies. All right. And... Winner. 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 Yeah, winner. Okay. Is Mike Majors. 
Until this last summer, cosplay meant the same thing as booth babes, models, or actors in costume meant. Seeing genre characters come to life. But, I w but while I was at the Avengers Marathon, they had actors dressed up like several Marvel characters taking pictures. After a while, more and more fans started showing up in costume as well, and they were much better. The actor dressed as Hawkeye from the movie asked the fan, dressed in an awesome classic pur purple Hawkeye outfit, who he was supposed to be. I realized that cosplayers do more than look the part. They care about the characters they portray. They are more than a cool outfit to look at. They are people who you share a common interest with. So, Mike Majors, you won every single print that I have available in my store. That's, I don't know, 20 or something. You've got all of them. So, that's, yes, there will be a test. <laughs> So that is awesome. Yay. You guys all won or these guys all won stuff. And that was my 20,000. Thank you giveaway. Um, if it's okay with you guys, um, all of you that submitted uh, these again, I really appreciate it. And what I was thinking of doing is doing an album where I can post what you guys wrote in there one a day and I think it'd be good I think it'd be encouraging for the community I think it's a, a definitely a positive message to send out especially coming from you guys and what you guys view is you know what cosplay means to you as an individual um, you know so I would love to post these individually just you know so everybody can see what you guys what you guys think and the work that you guys put into send, sending in to me um, so I'm definitely going to go ahead and post these, uh, probably starting tomorrow. I'll start posting one a day for you guys to read. Um, so let me just write right here. One of each. Uh, Lewis Love, are you still online? No, there's a little bane in his window. Huh? There's a little bane in his window. Jake. Where? The nuke the fridge window. Nuke the fridge. Where's nuke the fridge? Are they on here? He's in the window. Wait, where? There's a little bang. Oh, <laughs> there he is. Okay. Dude, you still on? Okay. With nuke the fridge. Oh, NyQuil. You're really that sick, dude. <laughs> I really doubt you're that sick. Um... There's some really cool stuff coming up, like really, really, really good stuff coming up. I can't talk about it yet, but if you're in the LA area, you want to be there. Hell yeah, nukethefridge.com. You guys want to like their page for sure. Lewis, uh, he owns that page. He and you know he ran Nuke the Fridge. He's the reason why I met Stan. You know he 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 made he made it all happen. And um, I will point this out right now. Um, a lot of people doubted that Stanley was going to be at that show. It came from people I knew. It came from people that he knew. Um, ne Nesquik? <laughs> um, uh, it, it came from... Hold on, let me fix this. There we go. Is that better? Oh, that's much better. Hold on. Sorry. Oh God, no gifts. <laughs> um, it, it, a lot of people doubted that Stan was going to be there. And um, is that a rotting banana? <laughs> um, and he, he came through with it. He said Stan was going to be there. Stan was going to be there. I never doubted him for one second, despite of the crap that I kept hearing, despite of the crap that he would get. And he made it happen. And, you know, I owe Lewis a lot. So, um, a lot, Nuke the Fridge has a lot of stuff going on uh, for this year. Hell yeah, dude! Uh, they have a lot of stuff going on. Uh, I'm going to be working closely with them. And definitely stuff you need to check out. Um, ooh, question! Uh, what are the latest books that you guys have been reading? Aw, oh, Joseph. Okay, I will see you. Yeah, comic books, comic books. Paul Mollive? <laughs> oh yeah, uh, Rodriguez. Uh, here we go. Um, I, I, I showed it earlier. Um, here. 
Wait, actually, hold on. One sec. Hold on one sec. Um... Rodriguez, uh, did you, did you mail, you didn't mail something, did you? Because uh, in the mail, I've only gotten one thing, and that was from, uh, Victor, which I showed earlier, actually. Let's see. Monster Hunter. No, I'm Batman, guys. Sorry. I, I'm Batman. I'm Batman. I can't do the voice. Uh... <laughs> nice idol. Uh, Rodriguez, did you, uh, email it to me? Did you email it to me or did you mail it, like, you know, regular mail? Because, um, I definitely didn't get anything by regular mail. Um, if you sent it to me by email, I am behind on my email as well. Hell yeah, Abby! You own that idol! Make it your bitch! <laughs> Uh, <laughs> wait, Abby, Abby, hold on, hold on, hold on, one sec, hold on. One sec. Abby, 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 dude, 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 dude. <laughs> no, this, this one's for Black Queen, though. <laughs> oh yeah Rodriguez go ahead and uh, post it on the page I try to go through those daily um, don't email it because I'm running really uh, behind on those as well as on PMs post it directly on the page and I will definitely uh, um, I'll share it and, uh, yeah, actually, the whip was intended for Catwoman. It's a 10-footer um, leather whip from Todd's Costumes. Sucker cracks so nicely, too. Um, and uh, my Catwoman costume didn't quite work out the way I wanted it to, so I will be doing a different version, and this sucker will be for Black Queen. Um, oh, let's see. Hold on. Somebody said... One sec. Uh-oh. We got a gift. First time caller, do you ever make it to Boston or New York Comic Cons? Uh, Chris, I'm going to try to go to New York Comic Con. Uh, we'll just, you know, we'll, we'll see if I can make it this year. Keep your fingers crossed. That, that's, that one and C2E2 are definitely two that I'm going to try to uh, get to. Uh, let's see. Stick them. Uh, authentic merchandise. Um... Well, you mean like screen used props and stuff? Um, here, sorry, I've got to tilt this a bit because uh, my, uh, my, my knees are starting to kill me. Um, hopefully you guys don't mind. Um, I will kill myself with the whip. I'll probably end up all scratched up. Wizard World Philly, um, I would love to. I really, 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 really would love to. Uh... Uh-oh. You guys don't mind. Okay, good. <laughs> Sorry, I keep trying to look at your guys' gifts that you guys are creating. Uh, let's see what he got. She-Ra. Is that She-Ra? Oh. Uh-oh. Where do you guys go? Austin. I would like to do Austin. Uh...
Guess Rodriguez. Greetings, my Mexican friend from the U.S. in California. Um, hopefully I will get to a show out there in Mexico at some point. Um, I hear there are actually really, really good shows out there. So, you know, I hope you do good, you do well, and I hope you have a good night. And, you know, hopefully I'll see you next time. Uh, can I sing? In the shower. Just in the shower. Or when no one's around. Um, I uh, kind of got really afraid of, uh, of singing in public when I was a little kid. Uh, long story, I'll save that one for another time. Um, or actually, unless you guys want to hear it right now. It kind of sucks to do that for a kid, though. Uh, it just, it was mortifying. Uh, superhero stuff. Huh. That's a good suggestion. Uh... <laughs> Sing some Queen, yeah, freaking Bohemian Rhapsody. <laughs> uh, I would like to do Seattle or Portland. Um, honestly, I, I I like Oregon. It's it's beautiful out there. Uh, one sec, guys, hold on. To check on something. One second. Okay, hold on. Okay, sorry, I'm back. I had to check on something. Good night, Steven. It was nice having you here. Um, don't study too hard on that exam. I think you'll do fine. Um, I haven't done Princess Peach. <laughs> um... Stanley actually reminds me a lot about my of, of my grandpa of my grandpa. He's just got this, you know, grandfather thing. Dude, okay, so is now Hulk drinking he's on the night night juice with the Nyquil? Lewis? Uh oh, there's a gif. Uh Batman actor. Uh I pick Kevin Conroy. But he is He's Batman to me. He's the voice of Batman when I read a comic book. I I only hear... I hear his voice in my head. It's... Kevin Conroy is Batman. Um, yeah, I mean, Christian Bale was great. I thought Michael Keaton was great. Michael Keaton was uh, the first Batman that I saw on screen. Um, but it's always going to be Kevin Conroy and the Batman from the animated series for me. 989 holy crap yeah I might I might break uh, <laughs> I, I, I might break it today Wow you guys are awesome night night juice is uh, <laughs> is a uh, freaking uh, uh, NyQuil that stuff makes you crash out when you're sick dude okay sorry guys um Future costumes, um, what else do I have in the works that I can tell you guys? Oh, uh, what do I got going on? Do, do. Mm, I would eventually like to do, I don't know if you can see her, yeah, Polaris. Um, Shell, for sure. Oh, yeah, that one. Guys, 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 guys. The big one for me this year that I am doing is Dr. Doom. Female Dr. Doom. And it is going to be a play on Doom Kitty. Uh, so that one's actually going to be a lot of fun. And uh, I'm, I'm going to try to wear that to a, quite a few cons. I think you guys are going to like it. Um, 
and nuke the fridge. Dude, that was really cool. That glows. Um, I actually have the freaking monkey from um, Family Guy. The glow in the dark monkey. Yep, Dr. Doom Kitty. Hell yeah. Um, so, you know, keep an eye out for that. I will start posting progress photos once I get uh, to working on that one. And uh, that one's going to be fun. And yes, I will hail from the nation of Catveria. Oh, crap. Hold on. Call me back, Abby. Or I'll call you. I'll call you. She's calling you. Oh, she's calling me back. Hold on, guys. <laughs> You call me. I won't dial. My hand's not touching the phone. <laughs> okay, I'm going to call you. Oh, wait. Okay, you're dialing. <laughs> uh, my favorite uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle. Um, I really like Donatello. Hold on. Hello. Abby is awesome. She's freaking awesome. <laughs> uh, she was singing. <laughs> she was singing. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, let's see what we got. <laughs> uh, exactly. Do, do, do. <laughs> Uh, and she's dancing. <laughs> um, am I going to be at Megacon in Orlando? I don't know. Uh, maybe, maybe not. Um, honestly, it's more like 75% not, 25% yes. Um, there's a lot of things that are going to play on me being there or not. Um, I cannot say that I will. Um, and yes, I did promise with the belly dancing. Um, like I said, guys, I really, uh, honestly, I just, I need to go back and, and just get back into training because I haven't done it in such a long time since I threw myself into my cosplay. Um, but Abby and I and Kristen, uh, Nick, uh, Kristen, um, Huey, which I don't know if she's on here right now. Uh, we are going to be working on something really awesome, and I think you guys are going to love it, and if you guys go to Dragon Con, you guys are going to see it. Yes! Look at Abby's screen. Look at that. This. Yes, 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 yes. She's winning. Uh-huh. <laughs> uh, nuke the fridge. Wake up. You guys have your lights out. Yep, and Zen Dragon will be in the background doing that. Uh huh. <laughs> uh, and uh, it'll be fusion. It'll be fusion with some uh, ATS and some uh, uh, Egyptian uh, influence, but it will be it will be primarily fusion based. Um, uh, where did I meet Crystal Method? Actually, in passing at Comic Con, and since then we just really hit it off, and we've been awesome friends. We do a lot of stuff together. Um, you guys need to meet her. She's she's super humble, super sweet. Uh, let's see. Sorry, I'm gonna move this again. I really need to sit down. <laughs> One sec. Oh. Oops. Sorry. Okay. So, I'm gonna, there, there we go. Let me move right here. Turn this. 
Where? If you put a chair on your end, you want to wash hands. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I'm actually, this is my other room. Um, what I plan on doing is showing you guys a little bit of certain parts of this room so you guys can kind of get an idea of what I've got in here. Um, this is just a tiny, tiny little hint of what's in here. Um, I do have a chair in here. Um, it's a big ass chair though. <laughs> oh God, I'm scared to click on that, on that GIF. Oh Lord. Oh, okay, we're good. I thought it was a gift for something. Uh, okay, I'm okay. I think I got saved. Um, the TARDIS. Uh, let's see what else you guys got. Oh, okay. If you guys haven't seen that video, uh, I'll post it on my page. Uh, Superman would definitely kill Goku. For sure. Oh, God. Um, my butt will actually not go numb sitting on this floor. Um, it actually never goes numb. Interesting, right? No, it's just, yeah, I, it's, it's never been an issue. So I can stay seated for a long period of time and not have to worry about it. <laughs> uh, <laughs> TMI. Um, exactly. Superman would do that to Goku. I mean, I'm a big DBZ fan, but, uh, yeah. Superman would kick his ass. Uh, I am wearing jeans. <laughs> Happy I'm gonna shoot you. <laughs> Uh, okay, Ryan, um, when I was, I was actually watching that video that a, a fan posted about their power levels and, uh, the Dragon Ball, um, dictionary, encyclopedia, everything about it thing said that, um, it actually does not matter, uh, when it comes to the, their power levels, um, and the reason for that is because it, it all boils down to their willpower, um, which I found very interesting and enlightening. Um, I'll, I'll link the video. I'm definitely going to post it, uh, yeah, tonight. I'll probably post it tonight and you guys can watch it. It's about 30, it's about 30 minutes long, but it's well worth it. It was definitely entertaining. Crystal Method, I think, is at a tea house tonight. Um, she'll be on the next one, I think. He could have wished for Kryptonite Fists, that's for sure. Uh, Super Saiyan could, theoretically, um, yes, it is a screw attack video, um, I loved that video, it was awesome. Wonder Woman would definitely seduce Superman. Uh... <laughs> oh, wow. Uh, I love Vegas Power Girl. She is a sweetie pie, and I hope that you guys get to meet her. She's another super humble one. Um, Goku is not that smart. That That's that's a big issue with him. He, he's, he's, he's not that smart, um, but, I mean... He also he always wants to uh, fight his an opponent his opponent opponent while they are at their best as well and I really admire that. Um, yeah, exactly, Tim. Uh, nuke the fridge, dude. What the hell is that? Looks like Doctor Evil. Oh my God, that was scary. <laughs> uh. Oh, he scared the hell out of me in the dark. <laughs> One million dollars. <It's> like... <laughs> uh, how do I 
feel about Doctor Who? 